Welcome back to Malta then as I continue to explore the footy scene in this small but beautiful Mediterranean island nation. Okay then, five euro ticket. I like that. We are now in the amateur league though. Don't forget that. It's Melia against Krendi today, which is actually the second game of the day in this stadium. I've arrived 25 minutes early. It's a smart little stadium, though, artificial pitch. Smart stand there, freestanding, I like that. I can move around, don't have to sit in one seat. A nice buzz, the players are just warming up and it seems like everybody knows each other. It's community, isn't it? Everyone's just got their community, their team. So yeah, looking forward to the game. Continue listening to my audiobook, Chris Kamara. Oh, there we go, the floodlights have just come on. Nice bit of floodlightage there. So today is the, is it FA Trophy or the league? The league. The league, yeah. Okay. And how, are, how how is the season going so far for the team? Uh, yeah, uh, it could be much better. Um, we've made a lot of changes. Uh, now we have a new coach. Yeah. This year we've invested a lot in players, yeah. foreign players, and really? players around Malta. So, yeah, Nigeria. Um, we have Jose. Serbian. Uh, we have Luca. Because we are amateur, we cannot play more than one player. Uh, during the game so one foreigner plays and if we have the other one yeah. one goes out and the other one comes in thank you. thank you thank you very much okay then so we're nearly ready for kickoff the players are just getting ready and here they come it's amateur football but a couple of promotions could see them playing in the Premier League of Malta Melia's opponents today, Crendy, have got Scottish striker Ross McParland in their team. McParland's only 22 and he's had spells at Chesterfield Academy and Corby Town. But he's moved to Malta and he's uh, scoring goals for fun after returning from injury. That's half time then. Uh, it's been a good first half. Melia and Krendi, nil nil at half time though. Just lacking that quality in the final third. Had to walk out of the stadium to buy a coffee. Look, this is not Old Trafford. This is not the Maracana. This is not the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. This is the Luxor Sports Ground. If, if I have to walk two minutes for a coffee, no problem. Are you enjoying the game so far? Yes, I am. And you told me that you're new to the club? Yes, I mean, this first year, I mean, between the, how my son is playing, obviously. Your son plays in the team? Yes. Oh, great. So the training is nice, the people are all nice. Is he playing for Melia or? For Melia. Yeah, very good, very good. Trendy is his ex team last year. Oh, okay. It was with Trendy. Oh, I see, so he's playing against his old team. Yeah, and I think since it was three years I took him play because I like football a lot. Yeah. He takes it very seriously. Yeah. He doesn't eat a lot, he doesn't drink because of football, he doesn't go out and stay late. He's dedicated. Yes. Very good. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me and I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to the game. Thank Enjoy you. it. Thank you. Unbelievable. I'm pretty sure Milia have just scored direct from a corner.
Right then, so it's the end of the game and I've noticed this uh, coach speaking English on the sideline. Turns out Roger Walker, former Bolton Wanderers defender, is now, you're now the assistant coach, is that correct? I'm the assistant coach with the first team here at Malia Football Club and also I'm the um, head coach for the under 21s right. for Malia as well. How do you enjoy it? How is it for you? It's been a long road. Um, playing professional football for so many years, it doesn't give you an outlet in exactly how you want the game to be played. But over the years, things have changed. I've seen a huge change in regards to the technique, the, how the players play yeah. and how teams have actually developed. Yeah. And it fits into a narrative which I myself, I am seeing for myself and seeing success. And I'm, I'm well and truly, I'm enjoying it. Really right. enjoying it. I think, I think that's the most important thing, isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah. for me, this is what it's all about. The grassroots, mm -hmm. the, the real people behind the scenes. I noticed that you played for Bolton Wanderers and then Grasshopper Zurich. No, FC Zurich I FC played. Zurich, sorry, I played yeah, FC right. Zurich. I played FC Zurich from 93 up to 97. Excellent, mate. And then you, you spent a long time playing in Malta, wasn't it? And I played in Malta for uh, um, my first stint. I was here for four years. I played for Slimo Wanderers. When I left, I went to play in Switzerland. I played it for a team called FC Bern, mm -hmm. who were in the first amateur league in Switzerland at that time. Yeah. I played there for one season and then graduated to Section B, played for a team called FC Baden uh -huh. under uh, um, the coach um, Romando Ponti, yeah. um, who was in the national he played for the national team of Switzerland. And ironically, Romando Ponti played for Nottingham Forest as well. Yeah, nice. Yes. Nice so you played for, in some really, really cool places. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you, you came back to uh, Malta, I believe, isn't it? You played yeah. for Marcus Lock, was it? I, made, I played for Marcus Lock, ironically. My son, um, Jacob, who's now 26 years of age, he's playing for the same team. Is that right? Yeah, he's so, following my footsteps. So this is really your home now then, isn't it? Malta's really your home. I yeah, think. and so, more, more importantly, what I want to develop, I want to work in the youth sector and yeah. develop a, even better players because Malta has got a, um, a range of talent which has been untapped and it's time that we actually tapped into that market itself. Well, the, the, the sort of uh, quantity of sports pitches in this island for me is outstanding. Yes. There's four football leagues. Yeah. It's a small island. There's something like 50, 60 teams. I think it's incredible, really. Yeah, yeah it is. So. But what I would like to see is that we actually actually get players but eventually getting them to go and play abroad. It should be, shouldn't it? And hopefully that will have a knock-on effect with the national team. Yeah. But I've seen a huge change, even with standard of football. Whereas before, in my time, it was based on individual skills in some respects and the individual. It's more of a team game now. It's exciting to see it actually happen here in Malta as well. But we want, we need to progress it. And the national team will benefit from it as well. I, I can see you moving on towards to, to working with the Maltese FA or something. The way you talk is quite inspirational. Can you can you say something for me in Maltese? The Maltese language is fascinating for me. Hafna Taiba for the game today. That means we played well Beautiful. and it was a great game. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, man.